Thank you for tuning in. My name is Mr. Midgley and I'm subject leader for Business Economics and we also offer a third course called Financial Capability. I'm going to take each of these qualifications in turn and the first thing I'm going to talk about is the A-level business. This is a very popular course within the school and we generally get a number of groups. The reason it's popular is it combines a whole range of skills, it combines mathematics, English, history and we cover a range of topics. Over the two years you will do four themes. These themes will test you on different elements of business. Theme one is markets and people, where we look at how you manage people within a business. Theme two is all about finance of a business, and we look at more accounting principles within business. Theme three is about, again, finance, but it's more about measuring performance of the business. And theme four is global business, and we look at the different skills that are needed to uh, manage a business that crosses borders. You will be assessed in via three papers. Each paper is two hours long. Paper one and paper two is worth 35% of the mark, and paper three is worth 30% of the mark. Referring back to the themes that I've just talked about, paper one will test you on themes one and four. Paper two will test you on themes two and three and paper three will test you on all four things. It is 100% exam, obviously it's graded A star down to U. All grades are available based on the performance within the exam. The second course I'll talk about is A-level economics. Like business, it is split into four things and like business, it has three exams at the end. The four themes are based on different elements of economics. Theme one looks at the role of government and firms within our economy. Theme two looks at the role of from other countries, such as the EU, the USA, Canada. Theme three looks at global markets, and theme four looks at trends such as unemployment, inflation, and the impact on the future. Like business studies, you will set three exams. Like business studies, paper one is themes one and four, paper two is themes two and three, and paper three is all four themes together. Exactly the same grading, 35% of your grade will come from paper one, 35% of your grade will come from paper two, 30% will come from paper three. The final course set I'd like to talk about is an extra course that we offer at Boston Grammar. It is called the Certificate in Financial Capability. This is a course that you will have little uh, contact with your teachers and the idea of the course is that it, uh, the majority of it is self-taught. It looks at two units. Unit one is finance in the short term. Unit two is finance in the medium to long term. It is a practical type subject where you will explore concepts such as loans, credit cards, mortgages, higher purchase, just to name a few. Pupils who sit the course have really enjoyed it because they've learned new practical skills. The course is assessed um, in the same way per unit. You will sit a multiple choice, which is 35 marks out of the 100, and then you will sit a longer uh, questions, which is worth 65 marks. Unit two is exactly the same. You will be graded again A star down to U and this qualification does carry UCAS points and there is an opportunity to do the second year if you choose so. Thank you for listening. I take all three courses, Finance, Economics and Business Studies. I find finance is useful as will help you prepare for your future. For example, you'll learn about mortgages and savings accounts. Business is useful, especially if you're wanting to pursue a career in this industry as it allows you to understand how business makes decisions depending on things such as cash flow, forecasts, market research and customer needs. Economics is useful as it allows you to understand the economic world around us and how external factors such as the coronavirus will affect us in the future. The teachers in these subjects are very friendly and helpful and if you're stuck on anything they will be more than glad to help out.